look like this, you could never uh-uh. Bad red bone from the south, round round, hitting licks with a yellow uh-uh. Bitch so bad, when I walk past, nigga sing my name, a cappella. Uh-uh. Hey love, so as you guys can see by the title below I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my peach cobbler A lot of you guys have seen me make this peach cobbler on my Snapchat And if you're not following me on my Snapchat, you should Because anytime I cook food or I'm doing anything I usually post on my Snapchat because it's so much easier. Honestly, if I could vlog and use my Snapchat, it would be so much freaking easier for me, for everyone who wants vlogs. But you guys know, baby, we're in quarantine, honey, so we can't really do much. but go to the store and come back home, okay? So as you guys can see, I usually would make my peach cobbler homemade, make my own dough and everything like that. But I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to make a southern style peach cobbler now usually i would make the crust i would buy the peaches peel the peaches boil the peaches in water sugar cinnamon and butter but that's not what we're going to be doing today so we're going to make it the easiest way possible so i have two bags of sliced peaches it doesn't matter the brand because you're going to season your peaches the way you like your peach cobbler to taste and this is just my recipe, you guys. And honestly, I don't really measure anything. I have been cooking ever since I was like 13 years old. I'm about to be 35 years old. So, you guys, I kind of know how much to use. I'll try to put across the screen how much I think it is because I'm not good with measuring. I just know how to make it. And like I said, two bags of peaches. You're not going to need all of the peaches, but you're going to need more than a bag. And then I have the deep dish crust. I am holding my phone recording instead of holding my camera because I'm still cooking other foods. So it's just better for me to use my phone. And I have, like I said, the two pie shells right here. You'll need regular sugar, brown sugar, honey, ginger, cinnamon sugar, nutmeg. I actually lost the top to my nutmeg. And that little bit of nutmeg is all that I'm going to need for this peach cobbler. And I'm cooking sweet potatoes, so I had to use some of my nutmeg for my sweet potatoes. Ground cinnamon, lemon extract, clear extract, and almond, and a stick of butter. So this is everything that you will need to make the peach cobbler the way I like it. Now, if you use different ingredients to each its own, sweetheart, I'm just telling you guys what I use because you guys have been requesting me to make this ever since you guys seen it on my snapchat so i am going to show you guys real quickly how easy it is so i already added a stick of butter and what i did was you want to take a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of sugar which will equal up to one cup and go ahead and dump that in your honey about this much like i told you guys i don't measure anything and then you want to go ahead and put just a splash of almond the extract goes a very long way just a little splash and then you want to do the same amount for each so try to do the same amount if you put a little more it's okay just try to do the same amount which is hard for me to do because I'm trying to film with my phone and do this at the same time but I can taste it when I get done you guys just make sure you use the same amount Go ahead with the lemon. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead with the ground cinnamon. Now what you want to do is stir it up and taste it and see if that's how you really like it. If it's good to go, you don't have to cook these peaches long at all because remember they are going to cook in the oven. So they're going to continue to cook in the oven along with the crust when you do that. I let my peaches cook maybe 5 to 10 minutes because I don't want it to be really, really soggy because like I said, it's going to cook in the oven. So you just want to let this cook. Like I said, for about five to ten minutes, I'm going to stir it up really, really good, taste it, see if this is how I want it, and then I'm good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and 
show you guys the crust and how I do it and things like that. And we're going to put this in the oven and it's not going to take that long. Like I said, I put my peach cobbles in the oven maybe 25 to 30 minutes and that's it. Okay, so they finna see how it tastes before I put it in the crust. What you think, Kalia? What you think, Laquas? <laughs> Let's see what they think, y'all. Woo, it's hot. Hold on. Yeah, it's hot. Maybe I need another one. That means it's good. He's talking about he need another mm. one. And he got another spoon. He didn't double dip. Mmm. What it tastes like? Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they so crazy. What you think, son? Mmm. Give me another spoon. I can eat the pieces like that. Mmm. Don't you double dip. Spoon? You better not double dip. You better get another spoon. Give me oh, this. I got another this spoon. This is good. Girl. Ooh, look at Y'all see how they wasting these spoons playing? So is that a go? Definitely. Whoa, no. there. What you, you say, son? To, whoa, no. there. You didn't have to put your pinky toe in and <laughs> You put your own knee <laughs> yeah. in it. You guys, so we're gonna go ahead and transfer the peaches over to the crust. I have Kalia holding the camera for me because I can't do both, you guys. So you wanna say hey to the people? Hey guys. So you guys, the crust is going to no what the hell? Not the crust. The juice is gonna get thicker in the oven. Now you can add a little baking soda with water and stir it in here, but I prefer my soda to get thicker in the oven. So you want to get a spoon like this because every time you scoop, you want to make sure you get the juice as well. So like I said, you want to make sure you get two deep dish crust. This is going to be the one that goes on top, the easy way. So we're going to go ahead and just spoon the peaches over like so. And like I said, the crust is going to get... Why do I keep saying crust? The juice is going to get thicker as it cooks. But you want to have more juice. Hey okay, you guys, so I noticed as I am editing the footage, I lost the footage to the pie crust portion of the video to go on top. I'm going to try to explain this very, very easy for you guys. All you have to do is take the pie crust out of the pan, flip it over, make sure it's even with the edges of the crust. Once you have that laid out evenly, try your best not to rip the crust. You want to take a fork and pinch the size of the fork down so that each of the crusts will connect on the edges so that nothing spills out. I decided to do an extra crust, so I did a double crust because that's what my family loves and I'm always cooking peach cobbler, so I always have extra crust in the refrigerator or the freezer. You want to make sure you put the oven on 350 and cook it for 25 to 30 minutes or until it's brown on top. Also, once you have put the cry the oh my god, the pie crust on top, you want to take some melted butter, drizzle it on top and add just a little sugar on top of the peach cobbler so that you can have that nice brown crusted golden look on top of your peach cobbler and that's pretty much it you guys very very easy to make i'm sorry some of the footage did not export but i was filming with my phone for the first time ever and i am filming on my 11 pro max if any of you guys wanted to know what the quality of the phone looks like when you are recording on your phone so that is the portion of the video of how you guys put the pie crust on top to make sure your peach cobbler comes out perfectly golden brown on top. Just try your best, you guys, not to rip or tear the pie crust on top. Then you will have probably ruined your peach cobbler. But I will insert some footage showing you guys exactly how the double crusted um, looked while it was in the oven as it was cooking. This is how the peach cobbler look, you guys. 
as you can see it's still juicy i did end up adding another crust on top to make it double crusted you don't have to do this and then all i did was add a little melted butter on top and added some sugar when it was probably like five minutes before i took it out of the oven and i put like butter around the crust as you can see and then i added sugar on top i did let this cook in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on 350 degrees so yeah i'm about to fix a plate up and show you guys how we eat it in our home the peach cobbler look with the ice cream and like i said you don't have to add some of the juice from the peach cobbler but that's just how we like it so i'm gonna go ahead and just drizzle some of the peach cobbler on top and we're pretty much done with this video just drizzle some of the juice on top as you guys can see my kids usually add caramel drizzle on top so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this real quick like unedited type of video this was a video i just decided to go ahead and make since you guys requested me to make it on my snapchat shout out to my snap to my snapchat fam for requesting this video and yeah if you guys decide to make this don't forget to snap me or dm me on instagram and that's pretty much it enjoy this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up Leave it in the comments what other cooking videos you guys would like to see. And I love you guys so much. And until next time, you guys. Bye. the push and go get it i went to pick up the torch and then lit it they tried to tell me i can't but i did it when i pull up bitches look like they shit it i had the spark from the motherfucking box